So, big talk. This is Global Television. We're live in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. I am Uyi Agmofwebe, your host on the program. Tonight, we turn our attention to issues around border control and as far as the uh, mandate of the immigration, uh, Nigerian Immigration Service, I should say, is concerned and how that this has become more like an underreported issue and that has been so for several years. And Nigerians have wondered as well how it is that every time the Nigeria Immigration Service, the NIS, is mentioned, it is only passport application and processing that come to mind. And the question is, how broad in terms of scope is the mandate of the NIS? We're going to take a look at this conversation and see what the core elements are and whether or not the NIS has delivered along these lines. Tonight, I'm joined by Ambassador uh, Dr. Seni Kumasi, is the country head of mission for the UN International Peace uh, Commission. He's going to help us find sense in this development and also profile solutions as to the way forward. It's always a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you. Let's begin with the uh, what I might want to call the new vista for the Nigeria Immigration Service. Now there's new leadership coming on board. And uh, some people say, well, President Bola Tinubu has taken the right step in the right direction. What's your assessment? Uh, you have said it all. The right step uh, to the right direction. Well, uh, the appointment of uh, uh, DCG came in as CG Immigration. I think it, uh, it's uh, a welcome development. She's a lady with a listening ear and uh, a core professional in her line of duty. So I have, to, I have so much hope in her that she will deliver the, the service uh, to the promised land. Mm. That, that's interesting. The, the immigration has been marred by controversies over time, which I'm sure you are even more familiar with than anybody probably who is watching right now. However, some people say with the new minister in place, uh, Dr. Olubime Tunji Ojo, that things are taking a better turn and so on and so forth. But, but talk to us as to how passport processing has become more like the core mandate of the immigration. Is that an aberration? You know, uh, I have said this time and time again that the ministry is overlapping. The work of the ministry is uh, like a policy maker. Oh. Immigration is operational. The ministry is to make policy for immigration to operate. But of recent, uh, right from the time of Gweni Rauf at he has hijacked the, the, the mandate of the immigration, that operational mandate of the immigration. He makes the policy and operates, which is very wrong. And uh, when you have weak CG to follow things up, or CGs that don't normally act within the purview of their mandate, normally you have this thing happening. You, would, you don't make policy and at the same time operate. Olubumi also is doing the same thing. Despite that Nigerians appreciate his moves to bring some changes in the passport, but with this, nobody will see the work of the CG immigration. Everybody mm. is giving credit to the minister, whereas minister only made the pronouncement. It's not even his duty to come on air and be telling us how passport should be or his, his own is to sit down and make the policy for the service. The service has a PRO that will come on air to enlighten public. Mm. So uh, because of they produce uh, kind of weak leadership, I'm sorry to say this, because uh, the negligence in her is too much that we cannot see the uh, activities in the service going on smoothly. How can a sitting CG wait for a minister to come? There was uh, last week something happened in the uh, service headquarters. The minister came to the service headquarters unannounced without even consent of the CG. Somebody has to go and tell her that the minister is in her premises. Mm. The minister is supposed to inform. She's your subordinate. Yes. You are playing a supervisory role. The controller general of immigration uh, was appointed by the president. It's always the president that appointed the, 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 the CG, not the minister. You are appointed by the uh, president. I was appointed by the president. Yet you are silencing my own uh, core uh, pro, um, uh, duty, overshadowing me in the. And nobody is questioning them hmm. because when you a CG is not sound, it's not active, it's not bold enough. Maybe they have some lapses 
the ministry understand uh, the, 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 the way Amana, she came on board. Uh, till today, nobody saw the letter that uh, gave her extension, this and that. So they are using this thing as a loophole uh, to hold on her and make her not to act. Maybe. I'm just saying it. Mm. But if not, if not so, a minister don't just come to me just because you are my minister and my supervisor. Is immigration the only agency in the Ministry of Interior? No. Can he do this thing to his civil defense headquarters? No. He can't even go to prison without letting the CG know. Why is always immigration is the, their problem? So my own is that immigration needs an active CG that knows what he or she is doing. Because in the regimental outfit, we don't even mention she. Everybody is he. Uh -huh. it, uh, everybody is a man. Officers are men. Right. No woman. So to the best of my knowledge, I'm not supposed to even address Adekoju or uh, Kemi as uh, she. But the controller general of immigration has too much power. Gradually, the ministry are taking the power one by one. Appointment, for instance, uh, recruitment uh, from level zero, one to six mm. is within the power of the controller general. Now, the ministry have hijacked it. It's within the power of inspector general of police to appoint from sergeant to inspector. The police service commission did not take that power from him, but immigration have lost that power to the ministry. So these are all what we want this CG to look into. Separation of power should be there. Let her understand her powers. She should go to the Immigration Act and uh, uh, review. Uh -huh. re, 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 uh, it's know the, 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 the quality of her leadership. From that Immigration Act, everything has stated clearly. If possible, the ministry don't know, the minister may not know. He's not a, an immigration officer, even though he has an SA on immigration reform. But I don't think that the SA is uh, acting what SA should do to the minister. Otherwise, so many blunders wouldn't have been made. Now, the CG, uh, the current CG, the new CG, in the name of Kemi uh, Nana, should look into that act very well and write memo to the ministry. Let the ministry understand the role of a controller general of immigration. Let her take charge of her organization, then focus uh, on what is ahead of her. Otherwise, she's going nowhere. Do you support the argument that a minister for interior should be somebody who probably had served in the immigration in the past? Because some people say one of the problems we're dealing with fundamentally is the fact that the minister, as it stands right now, which has been the practice for many years, mm. is always a politician. Mm -hmm. He has no idea mm -hmm. whatsoever how mm. the immigration runs and mm. all the dynamics around mm -hmm. it. What's your position on that? Exactly. I, that has been my thought. Because the mm. issue is, look at the past record. During Major General Maguru, mm -hmm. uh, Shagaya, uh, Navy Commodore Lambadungom, uh, Major General A.B. Mohammed, all these were military seeing the affairs of immigration they did very well the affairs of the paramilitary under the interior right. and they delivered very well right. shagaya during his time i was in the service in 1989 i was part of the nigeria niger transborder uh, committee that look into the uh, 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 border areas right. of each country niger came with their ministers nigeria and governors and the ministers came we sat down and they, 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 brought, they drew a map how we can do joint operation. That time we had Nigeria and uh, Niger Transborder Corporation and we have a uh, custom immigration joint patrol. Hmm. In, during that time, custom was under interior ministry, under uh, John Shagaya. 200 Peugeot vehicle, uh, vehicles were released to custom in immigration. 41 Land Rovers, 16 Mercedes G wagons, uh, four helicopters, and four Donia aircrafts were released for border operation alone under the leadership of. So border border operations were a priority for the immigration at that time. In fact, um, in this embarkation, embarkation and disembarkation is what is the uh, is the core mandate of immigration. So at what point did we lose sight of all of this? Because every uh, controller general that uh, that came. Focus on passport, passport, as if passport is the only directorate or only mandate Nigeria immigration. Out of eight directorates, only passport they were uh, busy focusing on attention. And the ministry understand. I don't know what is there that every minister come and look at passport. As is the minister for passport affairs. Hmm. 
Immigration is supposed to focus attention on border management, border security. Thank God the president mentioned it clearly to Kemi that uh, one of the core mandates that is placed on her should look at the border security. And I hope and pray she'll be able to do that because she was once in the border. She, has, she was a controller mm. uh, in charge of airports. She is air border. So she has the knowledge of the border management. Apart from that, every general duty officer in the immigration knows what border management is all about. Inflow of this insecurity, inflow of foreigners mm. coming into our land to launch unnecessary uh, uh, terrorism is as a result of the poor, porous borders we are having. We have unidentified borders and we have identified borders that have not been properly manned. Immigration need not just manpower at the border areas, but need operational uh, 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 vehicles, logistics, in, in short, to man the border effectively. If immigration take up their duty at the border, I am telling you, my dear friend, there will be sanity. As of today, let me just bump in on you quickly. But, but, but then, President Bolatinobu, like you said, mm. has uh, taken a very right step in the right direction of mm. appointing, uh, I mean, making these uh, very critical appointments. Yeah. But it's not enough to make the appointments. How do we change the system? How do we change the orientation of the people who work in immigration, particularly in border patrol, like you said a while ago? The U.S. government does not play with border patrol. At all. How do we make it such that this new leadership does not, I mean, is not stranded in terms of the funding they need to be able to fund critical infrastructure and equipment? If I will advise her mm. right now, I will ask her, to start writing immediately she takes over government mm. a mantle of leadership i mean the next three days to come she should focus attention not only on the border area she should start writing memos uh, immigration need funding i said this thing in this studio i think more than once mm -hmm. immigration need funding to operate the budgetary allocation of immigration is too poor to handle even the uh, the uh, normal staff welfare talk less of capital project these borders as you are seeing as a result of immigration absent of the immigration custom are taking over the border everybody believe custom owns the border no mm. now the civil defense i read one of uh, cg's articles cg civil defense they are sending his men to the border is it your duty doesn't he so there's an overlap yes overlap you are leaving your duty to go to another person's duty what is causing all this thing is as a result of weak leadership in the area of immigration. Until you get a leader that is ready to take the bull by the horn and face the challenges and reverse a lot of things, reclaim your, uh, your mandate from all these sister agencies. Mm. Go to the border areas, you'll understand that immigration have completely been silenced. Why? They own the border. They are the key to the border. Any other agency from customs downward, are all behind immigration. You, a movement of persons, they said. It's not a movement of goods. Borders uh, areas are to control or checkmate the movement of persons. Mm. It's the person that brings in the goods. You cannot, okay, keep the person alone. Let the good come in by itself. It's not possible. So, my dear friend, what we need here, I pray, Kemi will not, should not fail us, and I'm sure she will not fail. Because one good thing about her, she's a, a, a focus officer. Hmm. When she uh, focuses on something until she achieves that, I have visited her formations. When she was a controller, when she was in JAWS, when she was in Lagos, uh, as ACG, the headquarters, and DCG, I have been visiting her. Not only that, I have been listening and... Uh, checking her bi background, I mean, biography, and I understand that this woman that if given a chance, mm -hmm. the problem we will have in the ministry, the ministry is our problem. If given the ch a chance to operate, how will, she give, uh, how will she be given the chance? It is when you, re you map out the strategy and go through the act and mm -hmm. understand your powers, then you start acting on it. You don't need a uh, ministerial approval to do certain things. You do it yourself, like posting of senior officers, controllers. You see ministry intervening. Why? Interfering. No. It's the commandant of the controller general that knows who and who fits in these sorts of places. Mm. And that, not the minister, a politician. They'll come and want to favor some people that maybe 
their fathers or their friends call on the minister, please, uh, my son wants a posting to do. No. KME should focus on professionalism. When you are posted to airport, make sure that that person has the skills, the ability to work at the public places before you post anybody at the airport. So many scandals happen because of the wrong people posted at the wrong places, at the right places. Mm. So until right people are posted at the right places, you can never get good results. Incidentally, uh, it's not the, I mean, just not, not just the Nigerian Immigration Service alone that's under the Ministry of Interior. Mm -hmm. You also have the NSADC, like you alluded yeah. to a while ago, you have the prisons and so on yeah. and so forth. And you said you are still amazed as to how the Ministry of Interior is so obsessed with passport processing and so on and so forth. But, but my question is, is it enough for the CG who is going to come, I mean, uh, officially be, uh, I mean, take over leadership on the 1st of March now to know and be familiar with the acts establishing the immigration service? What more does she need to understand? Because there's some politics around it as well beyond the act itself. Mm. No, the issue is that mm. immigration is a regimental agent, right? A agency. So a regimental agency, you don't deviate. It's just mm. like a minister of the defense. A politicizing army mm. or any or uh, the military in general it they will not take it right because everybody has his own jurisdiction of duty mm -hmm. she should understand where her power ends and where where it starts then the minister should also understand where his power ends because somebody that has been trained has uh, passed through all the training uh, staff co uh, colleges uh, senior staff uh, uh, command courses and at the same time somebody that has no knowledge of what she went through mm. to be professional to rise to the rank of a deputy controller general do you know what it is it's not a promotion by merit no 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 no. she passed through the exams and so on to become mm. deputy controller general without any scandal whatsoever that alone is enough the minister is just a politician the first uh, critical public assignment he carries the house of representatives so this is the second uh, uh, how do i call it administrative uh, job he has taken governmental mm. so you cannot just come somebody that has been in the system for over 30 years to change everything the uh, the cg knows uh, the act but she, she need to revisit the act she need to refresh her brain mm. to be able to work very well otherwise what happened to mr a will definitely happen to mr b let the ministry we will try and use the media houses and uh, ad on advisory role to advise the minister to mm -hmm. let the service work this time around the immigration must get it right this time around this woman must be allowed to build leaders otherwise after 2024-2025 said the leadership of the people with leadership quality of the service will reduce to 90 percent of them will go and that will further weaken the it immigration, weaken the immigration. Mm. because now we look at it very well civil defense i call them a baby paramilitary they are the last to join the interior ministry mm. but you look at because they have active cg they are doing better the minister don't interfere in his affairs anyhow even prison services why is immigration as sensitive as immigration is we are part of jtf part of all this decision making body at, as far as security is concerned yet you will come after all this security meeting and so on come home to execute it and the minister will just hinder your 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 your, your performances it doesn't work that way the ministry should allow the agencies they are more or less autonomous agencies mm -hmm. under the umbrella of the ministry they should you should allow them see it uh, 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 if the minister really want to work we have department under the Ministry of Interior that are weak. Why can't he start from there? The mm. Department of Citizenship and Business is there. The most, one of the most corrupt departments in the Ministry of Interior. Business and Citizenship. Yes. Why is he not doing something there? Combined expatriate, resident permit and alias card. They, have so, they made so many blunders there as a result of the weakness of that particular Department of Citizenship and Business. You see now as i'm talking to you an indian man is in charge of sepak an indian man a sensible the minister is not working hard to make sure that nigeria reclaim uh, this thing from the in, in, in indians mm. you don't even work on how passport are produced in malaysia contracted the, the company is in uk the passports are produced in malaysia you are not ready to work on that how to reverse all these 
uh, irrevocable contract, they call it. Work on it. Yeah, but sorry, 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 ambassadors. I mean, I need to bump in here. They say that uh, contract has a clause in it that doesn't allow Nigeria to do a review of it until a certain time yeah, or but, maybe forever. But they fail also. Mm. They fail. The uh, the contractors mm. also fail. They have because in every revocable contract, right, there are rooms, avenues mm. of reversing if you are found wanting. Mm -hmm. These people producing the passport have been always. Mm. Uh, caught in the act, they've fallen short in, of the expectation. Inefficiency, yes. Mm -hmm. You, the government, supposed to use that when the minister came, he made that pronouncement. I thought he was serious. You don't act on how shortage the booklets are, but how inefficient the company task with mm -hmm. producing those passports. But, but, but sorry, I mean, you're an insider, I mean, you mm -hmm. come with a lot of experience under your belt mm -hmm. as far as the immigration is concerned, even mm -hmm. at the leadership level. Mm -hmm. What is so difficult in producing passports locally? Exactly. Mm. I have suggested, I made some write-ups. There are some companies in France and uh, in Ireland that uh, wanted to come and build, install the passport, high-quality, European-quality passport produ producing machine in Nigeria. Mm. They've passed leadership under the Mbazau and the Babandidi-led administration. I don't know what happened. It did not work. So I got to understand that maybe it's as a result of the interest of maybe some inflow of some uh, tips, kickbacks, uh, the cause of it. I don't want to say it mm. plainly, but I'm suspecting. If not, why? Something that you are going to bring in Sokoto is inside your Sokoto. Then why are you going to Sokoto? Mm. You can bring the machines. What is so, what is so special? Uh, in passport that cannot the machines cannot be dismantled there and be uh, fixed here to mm. produce those so my own is very simple mm -hmm. in, in one minute i just wanted to respond to this I, I know you're not here to hold brief for both the incoming cg mm. and the minister of interior mm. but there are insinuations that the minister of interior is allowing his personal interest to get in the way of the progress of the nis mm. If that is the case, I mean, with the big if, mm. how would that impact the leadership of the incoming CG? You know, as you said, I don't want to mm. go into something that is not uh, visibly or something that I am not in the know. Right. It's suspicious. Mm -hmm. Somehow we are all suspecting that maybe minister is hindering because, but it is glaring. Mm -hmm. Something that you have a, a, an interest in it, the way you act towards it shows clearly that this is the direction you are going. Why, in the first place, why was Adepoju imposed on us when she barely had less than one day to leave? Why must you uh, insist that she must be brought in? Now, they say express processing center. Presidency halted that process. Then the minister came in and reintroduced express processing center. Against but presidential directive. The past president. The past president. This right. one, they look at it as a new president mm -hmm. before... We will make some right up to wake up the going forward. Of course, mm. on this particular something, we don't need the express center at all. Everything is on E level. Mm. E should expand the passport offices, the already existing passport offices, and expand and enhance them. Go to some passport office, you will cry. Why are you bringing new ones when you cannot commonly wait, renovate? Wait, wait, wait. You cannot renovate the existing ones. The one that is existing. Mm. So I am in. I am against all this new passport. The kudos to the minister. He has not done anything to be given any kudos. Mm. If he want to get kudos from Nigerians like us, he should go into that contract and review Iris technology, socket works, or whatever. Go and review that that ill contract. Okay. You, you know, the good thing, Ambassador, is that uh, the incoming CG will be in office in a matter of three days maximum, mm -hmm. which means you and I still have a long time mm -hmm. uh, to have this conversation as we make progress. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, I want to say a big thank you to you uh, for coming to share these insights with us. And uh, we hope we get to speak with uh, the incoming CG uh, in a matter of days or weeks as he settles in. Mm -hmm. uh, into uh, office. Again, we appreciate your time Thank on you the program. Much, uh, I've been talking with Ambassador uh, Dr. Seni Kumasi. He's uh, head of mission in Nigeria for the UN International uh, Peace Committee. Uh, we hope to get a talk to him uh, as events unfold uh, going forward. I'm Uyag Mofwewe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again.